So here's a quick look at how I have this color picker interaction set up where you can change the color of the artwork within a Rive animation. Uh, in this case, I've got it tied to this color picker box on a Webflow site. And to do that, I had to get it set up in a specific way in Rive. So the way this is working is if I look into my files here, I've got one group for the irises. It has a shape called mixer and a shape called background. And those are the same uh, paths. They're just uh, circle paths and they're the same size and shape and they're grouped together so they move together. Um, and there's one for the right and left for each one. As you can see here on my mixer layer, I've got four fills in it and there's one that is basically 100% blue, one that's 100% green, and one that's 100% red. So it's using the R, RGB mixing. Um, and then I have those set to color dodge. I'm not sure exactly why color dodge works, but you can see if I change it to other blending types, um, doesn't quite work. Um, my screen actually kind of looks okay, but color dodge is the one that seems to get it uh, closest to what it's supposed to look like. And then uh, and there's a, a black layer underneath. And then in the background one, this is just a, a fill color that is almost completely black. Um, if it goes all the way to black, um, it everything turns black. So I can even have this at 010101 as long as it's not 100% black. Um, it's It seems to mix pretty well. Then on my animate tab, I have timelines for each of the colors. So for red zero, I come to the red layer on my mix uh, group and key the opacity down to zero on that one. Uh, and then on the red 255, I key it the opacity up to 100%. So I'm doing that for each of the colors. And then those are each connected to a number input and each one has a blend. So here's the green blend and you can see that it's uh, mixing between 0 and 255 for green. So if I hit play on this and start to change the green value, you can see how that's kind of scrubbing between those and that's going to basically change how much of the green is being mixed in. Um, and there's a layer for each color, um, same with blue here. So if I adjust blue, I'll see that shifting. So that means that I have these inputs available to use at runtime to choose how much of the color is mixing in. And then what I'm doing with that is I have JavaScript set up to um, change the hex values into RGB values uh, because in the color picker, I'm getting the hex value and I wanna convert it into these RGB number values so that I can set my inputs, my red, green, and blue inputs to those values. So as the um, color is being changed with this event listener, as the color is being changed in the color picker, it's getting the color and then it's converting that into um, these RGB values. So as the values change within this color picker, so here it's actually showing RGB, and I think this you can switch this to various methods. So I'm getting it as the hex and then converting it to these RGB ones. So then as you set the color, the color of the artwork updates as well. Um, so hopefully that helps to kind of explain what's happening. But yeah, this, this setup in the uh, Rive file is what is really making it work, is having each of these RGB layers and then mixing them with color dodge and if I didn't have my background here yeah you would, you can see that it uh, doesn't have anything to compare it against so that background one is the part that really lets it be visible so hopefully that makes sense and helps let me know if you have any questions